you. Welcome to the Dub Show. I appreciate you guys, man. Check me out. I got an L at a young age, stretched out. Gave me 24, homie, I got five out. Now on YouTube, trying to get a paper route. Coming till you know the deal. We have some grown shit. What's cracking, everybody? New video. Today's video is going to be a little serious, right? Um, I just got off the phone right now with um, somebody who's in the music industry. And, uh, you know, we were talking about a few things. And it had to all do with um, the issue with... Uh, King Little G and Conejo, okay? And I think it's important for people to understand that for those of you that aren't aware, you know, most most are, but for, for those that aren't, um, they both represent King Little G and Conejo. They represent, um, they represent barrios that, have been at war with each other for decades, right? And even though these two men are um, artists, um, they still carry their neighborhoods on their back, right? Um, they still have homies in the streets. And one thing that, that people need to understand, I mean, I've understood it, and I think, again, I think most do, um, is that, you know, and I don't, I, 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 this is no shot at nobody else, no disrespect to no one, but when it comes to raza, it doesn't matter if they're actors, it doesn't matter if they're singers, if they're rappers, they're very connected to the streets more than any other group. I think the only other group that maybe has the same type of deep, deep connections when they get into the, the whatever those fields are would be the Asians. The Asians are are pretty well connected as well. But um, you know, when I see a lot of rappers, um, you know, like I can give you like look, look at Dr. Dre, look at Easy E. You know, throughout history, there's been a lot of rappers that get in the game and they they do that gangster rap, right? But they they grew up around the stuff. They weren't actually um, dudes that went to prison for putting in work. Whereas with the Raza, you can you can guarantee nine out of 10 of them that are rapping about it, they've done it. They were doing it, you know, and they're still very much connected to it. So um, the reason why I feel this was necessary is because I, I myself, even knowing everything that I know, I forgot how serious it can become, right? And um, as much as I dig Misfit Soto's music, um, I think it was a bad play for him to get in the middle of that thing, you know? Um, and from what I'm hearing, there's a lot of people that are not happy and it's very understandable because um, King, Le King Little G is already on that, that legendary status, right? He's earned that. And I think he, when when he took a shot at Conejo, he was feeling like I'm taking a shot at somebody that's on my level, you know, as far as influence and longevity. And I think that, um, you know, I don't know Mr. Soto. I don't know any of these guys personally, right? But from the outside looking in and, and, and seeing the, the type of career that King Little G has and that Conejo has, you know, they're, they're, they're up there. You know what I'm saying? And then when you look at the, the barrio rivalry, the history of it, they've lost a lot of people. There's been serious, serious bloodshed between those two neighborhoods. And to keep it 
between those two and to keep it um, artistic, that would have been cool. But I think, you know, now now thinking about it and, and you know, having a conversation or two, um, there are people that are not happy with someone stepping in and it's not a good look. Um, I'm hoping that um, this thing stays where it's at, man. And we get some really good music out of King Little G and, and Conejo because that's what they do. They put out great music, right? Um, I personally would hate to see it spill into the streets. Um, but in all actuality, there's there's no love. You know, there's a lot of animosity, a lot of hurt, you know, a lot of history between those two neighborhoods. Um, and something like this could just be that match, man, that that's that that touches that gasoline that's in them bottles, eh? And it, it would be a damn shame to lose our gente to a cemetery or a jail cell over a rap song. I mean, it's already happening. It's not happening at a level that it used to, but it, it, it quickly could, man. It quickly could. And, you know, having somebody, again, I don't have nothing against Misfit, but I'm just trying to be real here. I think this this video needs to come out. It needs to be said. And um, and it's only because I wish the best for my raza. You know, I know what could happen. Um, and the majority of people out here do know what could happen. So, um, it ain't a joke, man. It ain't a game. And this goes back to why, you know, in the past I've said where it's, it's always going to be hard for Raza to, um, you know, get into the mainstream of music and movies and television because of how quickly things can escalate because of the connections that Raza have. You know, you could, they, I mean, we all know there could be a, a, a Mexicana that works at the courthouse, you know, and great job. She's got cousins. You know what I'm saying? She's, it's unfortunate, man, but it's the, it's the reality of being Raza in America. And, um, and, you know, I've, I've, I don't, I don't want to get, you know, you guys know me that been on the channel for a while. I, I can get lost in the weeds. The, the bottom line here is I'm hoping that this thing, the dust settles and, you know, let's, let's see some good music out of, out of the two kingpins, um, King Little G and Conejo, or let's just let it die. That's between them. You know, that's, that's whatever they decide, but. Man, I hope it doesn't turn into nothing else. It doesn't need to be nothing else. And, you know, hopefully, you know, other people don't feel like, well, you know what, I'm going to jump in. That Vato Misfit jumped in. Well, let me put my two cents in because then when, when does it stop? Where does it stop? Let's get that money, man. You know, we all have an opportunity to get bread, man, and 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 bring our, our people out of them barrios, you know, and let's go, um, let's go gentrify it some of these white areas let's go let's go have <laughs> let's go over there in their areas and i want to have me some motherfucking white landscapers doing my lawn imagine that but anyways man like i said this is a serious thing um those those that know know how serious things can get out here quick over nothing especially when you have two neighborhoods as violent as those two neighborhoods are with the type of histories that they have. And uh, I wish everybody well, man. Everybody stay safe, stay smart. Tell the ones you love that you love them, right? I'm out.